So in the previous short two videos, we showed how to create a new parcel fabric, add parcel types, then how to extend the information model to meet the source data and your business needs. And now we're going to walk into the data migration, which will take a few more minutes. Yes, minutes, not days, not weeks, not years, minutes. And one of the things you want to do is always use a sample data like we have here just to go through over the process to create the right schema. And once you have it tuned down, you can do it on your millions of parcels. So let's see how it's done. So we have here the shape file on the left, it's coming from this source, and we want to append it into my parcel polygon feature class. To do that, we're gonna go into the analysis tools and search for the append with double P and open the append tool. My input data sets are this terrible shape file that we have. Here we go. And I'm gonna append it into my parcel feature class over here. The schemas are not the same. We have different number of fields so we can match them you can even map them if you need to and all you need is to press the run button and it's going to take the data from the shape file and put it into the parcel feature class now you don't have to believe me that that's what's going on and what we can do now is just right click on the parcel fabric and add it to the current map you can only have one parcel fabric per map there's none here so we can just add it and we get the nice good default symbology and we don't need to see this terrible shape file anymore. We can remove it from the map. And now if we were to zoom in, we'll get some probably partial numbers and names and so on. So another thing that um, is terrible about shape file is that they have densified curves. How do I know that? Well, if you go to the quality tab, to the preset layers, there's one line symbology that can show you vertices on parcels and you can choose the parcel type and you can see here that all of these curves have densified arcs, right? So and we'd like to get rid of it as part of data migration. We can do it now before we create any other feature classes from those polygons. And it's really easy. There's a tool here called Simplify by Straight Line and Circular Arcs, which we sometimes call Slacker, just an acronym, and we're going to try to fit a true curve to those um, to those polygons, to those curves within the tolerance. I, I le I'm going to let it move by half a meter, which is kind of a foot and a half. It's probably too big. I'm also going to avoid creating very small curves, so I'm going to give it, I don't know, one meter is the minimum, and don't create something more than 10,000 meters which will become basically a very shallow curve. And I'm just gonna press, um, okay, well, the layer here doesn't matter. The vertices, parcels, and the parcel line, and um, parcels are pointing to the same data. Um, it's just a different way to see and symbolize the same data. But the nice thing that if we are doing a good job, we'll see all those densified curves disappear. And we are running it on the entire data now. This tool is pretty efficient and there we go through curves everywhere so that's a quick way to clean up your data before you create lines from those polygons or records now we can remove this layer we don't need it and now we have nice polygons so the next step will be to create parcel records well there's two ways to do it you can search for it or i can show you one time where it is in the parcel toolbox in the administration tool there's a tool called create parcel records and we do that before we build the parcel so the parcel features are my parcels and i can do it based on a field or based on expression we already have a field that groups the parcels together based on the legal record they came from okay so that's basically a grouping field. You can also use an expression to combine multiple fields if you use that drop down option and you press run. And when that is done, we'll have records in this data. And don't believe me, I'll show you. If you go into the parcel fabric group layer and expand it, you'll see the records. And if, as we can see here, we can see now the blue outline of those group of parcels that came from many different legal records. Most of it are subdivisions in this case. Great, but 
one thing that's missing we don't have points and lines well if you do have the lines you can go through the exact same process we've just done which is take your source data and append it into the target parcel lines that will preserve any measurements cargo if you have them if you don't have them like we didn't came with a shape file you can just press build the same goes for points if you have points you can just append your points into the parcel fabric maybe those are just control points that's fine you can just go ahead and append them in now that we've done that the last thing is to just build the parcel fabric and this time we're gonna build the parcels and my input parcel fabric is this my this one here and we're just gonna press run and in my our case it's gonna create lines the missing lines and the missing points for this data Here we go. We can see the points and the lines have been created. Now you don't have to inverse the data, right? You don't have to have cargo dimensions here, unless you have to. So it's up to you, but we don't invent them for you, fake measurements, um, because we would actually prefer you to enter them if you have them. And that's how simple it is to migrate data into the parcel fabric. Can we use this parcel fabric now and start to do a merge? Yes, we can, it's ready to go. So this is a perfect way to take a small sample data, go through the entire data migration process, and then start working against it and test your workflows. Make sure you didn't forget a field or you don't have need to add a domain and so forth and optimize the process. And once you have it figured out, maybe you run it on your million or 10 million parcels and get it done. Thank you everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video as well. Take care.